Hey guys, Michael J. Crawford here, and I had no intention of doing a video today. Uh, I'm still recovering. Fortunately, after the, the sinus surgery, the doctor said it went well. I'm now able to not have a big old pile of gauze on the front of my face, so that's a good thing. Uh, went in for a procedure where they kind of cleaned out my sinuses, where literally it was like I was having a professional surgeon pick my nose for me for a half an hour this morning. That was lots of fun. And uh, and now I'm just trying to rest because it was I'm, I'm, I'm hurting, I'm tired, and I, I just need to rest a little bit. And I'll probably join the virtual pub tonight, but probably not for very long. And then hoping to get back to uh, regular streaming content um, in the next few days. But the reason I'm making this video is, look... I, I gotta ask because I'm seriously starting to question my sanity here. And I don't usually talk about real world events, particularly political things on this channel, but sometimes things happen and, it, and you just have to question reality. And this is one of those times. Um, so I'm talking about the recent comments from Marjorie Taylor Greene. Now, if you're not aware of Marjorie Taylor Greene, she is a U.S. House of Representatives representative from Georgia, I believe. Uh, and she, she's a Republican who is, sounds like she is completely off her rocker. And I genuinely fear for the Republican Party right now. Look, I am not a Republican, nor am I a Democrat. I, I register as independent, and I generally just vote for whatever candidate I agree with the most. Uh, just being transparent here, I'll be honest with you that generally speaking of the two major parties, I tend to agree with the Republican Party more than the Democratic Party as far as policy. However, I also found the behavior of uh, Donald Trump to be, quite frankly, offensive, and I did, I, I and, and I didn't like the path that the party seemed to be on during his presidency, as far as just no decorum whatsoever, uh, no civility whatsoever, and and all under the guise of he's just not really a politician and therefore it's okay. No, it's not okay. It's not okay to be a jerk just because you're not a professional in a specific arena. And at least not in my opinion. But Donald Trump is out and I figured, well, maybe things will go back to normal. But it seems like the Republican Party in the wake of the Trump presidency is becoming more and more radicalized to be more like Trump. And I think the reason for it is because they saw the success of Trump. And like most people who don't think for themselves, if they see something that is successful, they simply try to imitate it. And they can only imitate the superficial layers of it, which basically means to say things that are patently offensive and patently just wrong sometimes. And, you know, just roll with it, right? And, and people are eating it up. People that I know and care about and trust and, and I think for the most part are intelligent and rational people are eating this stuff up and thinking that the, this is good somehow. So what did uh, Representative Taylor Green actually say that's got me all uh, worked up here? Well, it's actually, and that's the thing, it's so stupid, it's mind-blowing. She said the other day, um, she, she compared in an interview uh, the policies set forth by um, Nancy Pelosi, since she's currently in charge of the House, and uh, as far as wearing a mask mandate at work, right? That, 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 that was their policy right now. She compared that to the forcing Jews to wear gold stars in Germany in the 1940s. I, I'm not making that up. Here's the clip. You know, we can look back in a time in history 
where people were told to wear a gold star and they were definitely treated like second class citizens, so much so that they were put in trains and taken to gas chambers in Nazi Germany. And this is exactly the type of abuse that Nancy Pelosi is talking about. So she, she makes that comparison. And of course, as you would kind of expect after something like that, there's a huge outpouring of anger, particularly from the political left and of course from various Jewish groups about what she said. And she decided to address it. And she went from bad to much, much worse. I stand by all of my statements. I said nothing wrong. And I think any, any rational Jewish person didn't like what happened in, in Nazi Germany and any rational Jewish person doesn't like what's happening with overbearing mass mandates. So she is likening I just want to make sure I understand this. And please, look, guys, and again, this is why I say I've been questioning my own sanity over this because I know I've been struggling a little bit lately with, you know, the there's literally dealing with lesions in my brain, uh, you know, possible permanent uh, neurological issues that I'm going to be having, having to deal with. Maybe I'm genuinely not thinking straight. Maybe I'm genuinely not processing information correctly. If that's the case, please, please straighten me out. If you are someone that supports this kind of rhetoric, Please explain it to me. Please tell me how this makes any kind of sense to you because it doesn't make any kind of sense to me. Because she is comparing a regime that executed some 6 million people to having to wear a mask to work as if that's on the same level. And and I don't understand it. I, I just, it hurts my brain to even think about that. And you know, here's the interesting thing, and, and this is just where my thought process is going with all this. And you tell me if, if you think I'm off base, but, and, and please, this is not about one party good, one party bad. This is not an attack on the Republican Party or, uh, an you know, this, this is an attack on some of this rhetoric that's been going on. But uh, like I said at the beginning, I, I genuinely agree with the Republicans on a policy basis more than the Democrats. And this is, but this is not an attack on the Republicans nor defense of the Democrats. This is just me questioning what, what the sanity of these people and the future of our political system in this country, because I do think that we're in for a major paradigm shift here in the next couple of decades. Because here's what I think is going to happen. Uh, if this continues, if this trend, because she's not alone. I mean, there are other Republicans that have been saying stuff like this, uh, just absolutely off the wall, crazy things uh, in the wake of the Trump presidency. Uh, and and then other Republicans, when they try to, you know, like, um, what's her name? Cheney, Liz Cheney, when she tries to speak out about, uh, you know, hey, you know, this needs to stop. She gets excommunicated by the rest of the party, you know, and all of a sudden she's like this whole. So the Republican Party is radicalizing itself right now. And not necessarily in policy as much as in just in rhetoric. And what I think this will ultimately lead to is the complete collapse of the American Republican Party. I think it's doomed at this point. I, I, I genuinely believe that the Republican Party is going to collapse in on itself probably within the next 10 to 20 years. Uh, as, and if this continues, uh, it will only mean more power for the Democratic Party in the short term. Uh, in the long term, I think it could be an ult ult ultimate benefit. And I'll tell you why in just a second. But, but I think that short term, we are looking at the, uh, the absolute destruction of the GOP. And because I, while I think that it's very popular to say, you know, off the wall, crazy stuff, especially online. I mean, come on, people say off the wall, crazy things all the time and, on the internet and other people love to cheer it on and, and think that it's great. Well, that's, that's all fine and dandy if you're, you know, making fun of people because you don't like the movies they make or you're making fun of people because... You know, they posted a video you think is obnoxious or whatever. We're talking about the political process of the United States of America here. And I don't think that sane people are going to continue to vote for a party that is putting out that kind of rhetoric 
seriously. This is the same representative that had the whole thing about Jewish space lasers. And if you don't know about that, I'm not going to even get into that right now. But that's that's another thing of hers. So these uh, these QAnon types and uh, these these over radicalized Trump supporters are basically hijacking the Republican Party. The Republican Party will go further and further into this strange, hyperbolic, uh, ultra-radical rhetoric, and it will push moderates out of the party completely, and the conservative but not radicalized will be looking for other options. And they'll either try to find moderate or conservative Democrats to vote for, or they're going to start looking to third parties. And so I think that as the Republican Party shrinks in its influence, the short term is that the Democrats will benefit. They'll probably gain a supermajority in the next um, couple of elections. Uh, and then and they'll get some stuff passed. That's going to freak out some people because then we're going to start seeing some of the stuff that uh, Republicans have been warning against for so long. And when that starts to happen, then some of the third parties like the libertarians might start stepping up and look very attractive to some of these people. Uh, and at that point, we'll have a new two-party system. Instead of the Democrats and Republicans, it'll, in my opinion, uh, I'm not claiming to be a prophet here or anything, but it seems like it would be most likely to be something like a Democrat-Libertarian dichotomy instead of Democrat-Republican, uh, which I think would be a more... Uh, interesting dichotomy to be honest because the democrats will have less things to argue against the libertarians on than the republicans because most of the key things that um you know, that like some of the some of the big issues that i have with the um with the republicans i don't with the with the libertarians uh, because as a philosophy i agree with the libertarians more or less that the government should only uh do those things that it's compelled to do but I do think that we, you know, so for example, when we talk about health care, if we want health care to be a right, as Joe Biden has said, uh, and by the way, I'm totally open to that discussion, but if we want it to be a right, then you need to do it properly. And that means pass a constitutional amendment, making it a right. And at that point now it becomes the obligation of the federal government to provide it, uh, not to just do it because we're going to just expand the government, you know, and that, that kind of thing. Anyway, uh, I'm not mean to go off on that but i t but this scares me this genuinely scares me as far as you know i the short-term ramifications of the republican collapse is going to mean a lot of left-wing stuff going through uh, I, and I do think we're going to see that. I think that we could, especially with the economic situation the way it is, if they start talking about more stimulus and stuff like that, we could be looking at going into a full-blown socialist type regime out of necessity. Because if they keep spending, spending, spending to the point where you're going to bankrupt the country, the only way to resolve that is completely change the economic system to something uh, where the government is in direct control of the economy. And that would mean socialism or ultimately communism, which I, I don't. I know a lot of people look at that and think, no, nah, never in this country. But I never would have thought in this country we would have a sitting member of the House of Representatives compare putting on a mask to protect yourself against a virus to lining people up and executing them on mess. That's just insane. Anyway, guys, seriously... If you have any thoughts on this, let me know. I know I sound a little disjointed here, but that's just my norm right now. But I really, really want your opinion on this because this, this is crazy. Take care.